What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Canelo Alvarez. Get this. Canelo Alvarez responds to all the criticism from Floyd Mayweather, and this is what the Mexican champion had to say. Quote, Floyd always picked his opponents past or before their prime. He would never fight me right now. Those are the words of Canelo Alvarez. Let me counterpunch. Um, Canelo Alvarez has always been sour about the loss. You know, he's a natural born winner. So, of course, losing isn't in his DNA. But he lost that day. Bars. And the weird thing about Floyd, Floyd did pick his own opponents. Floyd picked his opponents based on how much money he could profit. Um, the fight between him and Canelo Alvarez labeled the one because none of them uh, had a loss at the time. Uh, Floyd's never had a loss. You know, we got to make that apparent. But Canelo Alvarez was undefeated. He was 23 years of age. You know, he had had over 40 fights at that time anyway. You know, um, and he thought he was ready to take on Floyd Mayweather. Well, he simply was not. But here's the thing about the sport of boxing. It cuts both ways. All right. When you're talking about fighting uh, a seasoned fighter like Floyd, Normally, the odds are against the older fighter, okay? That's how it normally goes. People think for the right time and the fight a guy or, hey, the time ain't right. You know, don't fight Terrence Crawford now. Fight him in two years, that type of stuff versus fighting him right now, you know? So a lot of times that's against the fighter that is the better fighter. In this case, Floyd still, has still had enough juice to show him how he got down. And Floyd, did he pick Canelo Alvarez too early? Do you think that was the case? Um, I'm, I don't think he was. I just think Floyd. I just think Canelo would always have problems with those type of fighters. You know. Now that doesn't that doesn't take away the fact that he has improved. But the the real the reality of it, we'll never know. Let's just be real. We'll never know if Canelo Alvarez would beat Floyd. And damn sure he wouldn't fight you now. He's forty four years old. You know what I mean? So, no, he wouldn't fight you at 44 years of age just so you could beat him up in <laughs> at 31. You know, that's a lot, a lot different. Now, you know, if the thing I would like to see, the 31-year-old ver version of uh, Canelo versus the 31-year-old version of Floyd, because you got to be fair about it. Because you can't say, oh, well, what about the 36-year-old version, version of Floyd? Floyd versus the 31 year old version of Canelo that wouldn't really be fair either why because and that's what people would want people would want to see well why don't you take the the Canelo of yes of that time and then replace replace him with the guy that's in front of you now well that guy's bigger he's uh he may be stronger because he's in a higher weight class you know like guys like Vinny Pazienza went through that you know but um, as far as picking the opponents go, uh, Floyd has done that. But the irony of Canelo saying that, Canelo was actually the guy that he, we wanted to see that fight. It's not like, when you when I heard he was fighting Canelo Alvarez, I'm like, damn, Canelo's pretty good. You know what I mean? But people really, that was the fight that he gave people, though, because of the Manny Pacquiao situation. Because, see, everybody wanted him to fight Pacquiao. Because Pacquiao was the other side of the street. The other equation. The other guy. So, people wanted to see that fight. Okay? So, it was always something that Floyd fed to the public. But did he pick him because he thought he was just less... Uh, well, Floyd thinks he can whoop anyone anyway. And that's what he did. He whooped everyone that he fought. But he picked opponents. But Canelo Alvarez wasn't one of them. OK, he wasn't one of the opponents that he Floyd was notorious or infamous for picking. OK, and to be real, both of those guys did the same thing. 
They both picked their opponents. Look at Canelo Alvarez, I mean, at Triple G. He fought Triple G in 2017. He could have fought him in 16. The timing, quote unquote, wasn't right. Okay, and then by the time he, in, in, like, and a lot of people think, including myself, that Triple G beat him. So by the time he fought him again, it was still a close fight, right? He fought it in a different way. He fought more aggressively and all this, that, and the other, but it was still two close fights to a guy that was older. And, and I know how Triple G was. Triple G was one of those guys, the thing that was affecting him or was or that could be a problem for him is his age. And they knew that. Promoters know that. Oscar De La Hoya knew that. Canelo Alvarez chunked the WBC in the can. He, he said it was because of, you know, he had a court case going on with his previous promoter and stuff like that. So it's, it was a good enough reason to be believable. But at the end of the day, a lot of people think he just chunked that belt because he didn't want to fight Triple G at the time. And then when he fought him, it was a whole nother year that rolled around before he fought him again due to the clenbuterol accusation. So, you know, <clears throat> then you got your Durham. Then you have, you know, a lot of guys that he picked, Rocky Fielding. You're like, okay, well, where'd Rocky Fielding come from? You know, so it was a lot of guys that he did pick, you know, himself. So if he wants to talk about anybody, you know, uh, picking, you know, all those guys do it. So it basically, I think that Canelo adapted that type of stri strategic uh, uh, picking from Floyd. A lot of guys got bad habits from Floyd that I can't stand, but it is what it is, you know. Um, but he is right. Floyd did pick his opponents. He did pick them because he could do that. He felt that, hey, I've done enough in the sport to pick my own damn opponents. And then Canelo Alvarez saying things like, I do what I want. He does the same thing. So ultimately, those guys get to a certain point where they feel entitled to pick whoever they want to pick instead of what the public wants them to or who the, who the public wants them to fight. Just like Floyd with, you know, with Pacquiao, you know, Canelo now, though, doesn't really have anybody. You know, David Benavidez. Eh, OK, well, you know, some people will argue that, but I think that's just, you know, mostly uh, certain people with, you know, bias you know, intentions, you know what I'm saying? But, um, I think the comeback, the counter punch from Canelo was kind of weak because it's like, you pick your own opponents, <laughs> you know, and no, he wouldn't fight you right now, you know, but it is a question on why Floyd is coming at Canelo the way he is. But my live explained that yesterday, but anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Canelo Alvarez counterpunch to Floyd Mayweather. Of course, please subscribe and you guys been counterpunching. Peace.